Okay, question 10. Uh, we've got a little bit of algebra involving laws of indices here um, and some solving of equations, uh, but uh, mostly straightforward enough questions. We're asked to simplify p to the power of 3 uh, all squared, um, and that means essentially what you do is you're going to multiply the powers together because that means p to the power of 3 times by itself p to the power of 3. You would add those powers in that instance. Here it's written slightly quicker for us. We're, we're going to multiply the powers. We're going to get p to the power of 6. Uh, over here, t to the 8 over t to the 3. Uh, we've got two uh, terms divided by each other with the same base. So we can subtract the powers. So we're going to get t to the power 8 subtract 3 is 5. Next part, 2 to the power 3 times 2 to the power n is equal to 2 to the power 9. We're asked to work out the value of n. So we've got two um, terms multiplied together that have the same base. Both have 2. And when we multiply them together, we end up with this solution of 2 to the power 9. Now, you should know the basic rule that when you multiply terms together of the same base, you can just add the powers. So what would I put as n in order to get 9? It's clearly got to be 6. Because if I do 3 plus 6, I've got to get 9. And then the final part, uh, we get 2x cubed equals 128. We're asked to work out the value of x. So we're going to solve this equation. So let's just write it down again. 2x cubed equals 128. I'm going to divide both sides by 2 to get x cubed must equal 128 divided by 2 is 64. And then I'm going to take the cube root of, of both sides. Or the cube root, so a little square root, like a square root sign with a little 3 here, of 64. You can do that in the calculator if you wish. I know that the cube root of 64 is 4. So x equals 4.